Hello viewers, it's a very good news for all that Adobe has just released the latest version of Photoshop which is Photoshop CC 2018 on this month. Uh, so today I'm going to introduce you with Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 and uh, here is the front interface of the Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. Now I'm opening a document or photo. Uh, so I have opened this now I'm going to show you the top three features of Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 so top one feature is variable font so what is variable font okay now I'm going to show you what is variable font while we are working with uh, text tool and typography, we faced a lot of problems. To solving those problems, uh, Adobe just added this feature to the Photoshop CC 2018. So I'm taking a new tool of text tool, text tool and uh, writing something. This is artifact of each, a little bit. Now I'm increasing it a little bit. Now I'm going to what is variable font. For working with font, we must have to go to the window and then character. Now we are seeing that I have used the font which is MyRaid Pro. The Pro. Now I'm changing the font. Here we are seeing the font names and, and every font has a different different style. Now we are seeing that some font uh, some fonts has uh, written here VAR which is bar which means is variable and we can use it for variable font. Now I am taking the Ecumen variable concept. So this is the Acumen variable concept font and we are seeing that here is two new features added which is weight and another one is weight. So I am increasing and decreasing the weight. And we are seeing the font width, seeing the font, the, the difference of our font is happening here now I'm going to the width so this is a very important feature of for the typography and um, you will increase or decrease weight and weight um, as you desire Now I am going to the second top feature which is brush smoothness. While we are working with brush we are facing, we have faced a lot of problem. To solving this problem the brush smoothness, smoothness has introduced by the Adobe. So I am going through the brush. I am taking a new brush tool and I'm taking a new brush tool and brushing here. So here we are seeing the a new feature which is smoothing and here given it 100%. For smoothing 100% uh, the brush behaving like okay now we make it around 0% okay what happened here okay we'll be very clear after this portion now I'm dragging like 
Here is the smoothing is 0%. Now I'm increasing it to 100%. Now it, it is getting very smooth. So this is the actually uh, work procedure of the smoothing option of a brush tool. So this is the this the, this is the second top features of Photoshop CC 2018. Now I'm going through the uh, third top uh, features of uh, Photoshop CC 2018, which is paint symmetry. For paint symmetry, we have to go to the uh, control. Or, or we'll go, or we can go there by going edit and performance. I'm going to general, uh, then go to the technology reviews here and just give the tick mark on enable paint symmetry. Okay, now we are seeing here a new option for pain symmetry. For pain symmetry, in symmetry. Just now we are going to see what is the pain symmetry. Click on here and just take a new new horizon. I'm taking new horizon, and this is the new horizon. And if we take a brush and brushing here like we are able to we are able to draw it same thing on both sides which is the main work procedure of paint symmetry now we are using another okay hide symmetry we can hide it very easily hide symmetry now we can take another symmetry like new wavy so you can make it uh, drag it everywhere we want so again take the brush tool and drag like this so this is the main work of paint symmetry to make today i've showed you the top three features of the photoshop cc 2018 hope you liked my videos if you like the video please please don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button keep liking and keep commenting and uh, uh, what you feel about i'm and I'm planning to make a A to Z Photoshop tutorial for the beginner. So if you really want this, please, please, please comment on this video. Hope I'll make A to Z Photoshop tutorial uh, for the beginner. Thank you.